61A Lecture Number 38 Announcements Everyone will receive discussion attendance credit, so you don't have to go to discussion to get attendance credit, but you may go to discussion if you want. See Ed for in-person discussion sections. If you don't go to discussion, I would recommend at least looking over the discussion worksheet. Discussion this week is just about final review. Homework 10 is due on Thursday. That's tomorrow. It's about SQL. It's three questions long, all about the dog's example from lecture. We tried to pick questions that were fairly straightforward based on the content of lecture so far. But if you want help, it is available. Not as much as usual, but we do have staff office hours today and tomorrow, as well as some online office hours tomorrow. And those are all listed on the office hours page, along with some instructor office hours. So come in if you want a hand. You're also welcome to post on Ed. More people are taking a look at that now. There will be an in-person paper-based final exam in this course, just as was planned. It's scheduled for the 14th, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. It will not include Define Macro, which was introduced in the Macros lecture and used extensively on Homework 9. That topic is now optional. And in fact, most of the exam will be about midterm two content. It's a cumulative exam, and typically about two thirds of it is based on just midterm two content. And then the last third covers some scheme and interpreter and SQL questions. I'll tell you in advance that the SQL question will be very similar to a homework 10 question. So if you understand what's going on in homework 10, you can move on and not study SQL anymore. If you look at past exams, there were some more involved SQL questions, but you'll get one that's pretty straightforward since you've had less practice with SQL due to the strike. But we're not going to cut SQL from the exam entirely because you use it in many future courses. So learning a little bit about the language is important now so that you're prepared for future courses. So my suggestion in preparing for the exam is to make sure you can solve midterm two questions first that's going to be most of it, and then take a look at some scheme and understand how the scheme interpreter you built works, since sometimes there are questions about that. Okay, today we're going to go over some example problems. They're actually not problems about scheme or SQL. They're problems that we could have talked about for midterm two, since most of the final is about midterm two content. We're going to spend most of the day just talking about trees. 